Hi, I'm Nancy Jo Van Hook. Thank you for being here for my Intimate Journey to Self uh, YouTube channel. And I'm here today with Linda, Dr. Linda Partridge. She wrote the book called The Five, The Creator Within. It's a wonderful book. It's about emotional maturity levels. And I'm going to go ahead and let her get started. I think I met you, Linda, 31 years ago. Yes, we did. While I was in college and I was studying mm -hmm. to be a nurse. And that was where um, I started to learn about the emotional maturity levels. And it, has, and it has helped me and thousands of other people I know. So I am so honored that you're here today. Thank oh, you. Thank you for having me. So Goodness. tell me a little bit about your book and why you wrote it and, and where you're going to go from here with it. Well, uh, it took me about 36 years to write this book mm -hmm. uh, when I was very, very young. Uh, I had a lot of questions about life that no one was ever answering. Mm -hmm. And so I looked all through school and asked questions, and the teachers always kind of looked at me like I was kind of weird. Um, I couldn't understand why some people seemed real smart in some areas, but they really didn't seem like they understood uh, people. And now I know it was about social intelligence, but at the time, I just thought that how can they know math so well and be really dumb mm -hmm. about people? Mm -hmm. And uh, I would ask these questions, and none of my psychology professors, rather they were in high school or college or even graduate school, seemed to know. And uh, there was a lot of questions about life that nobody ever seemed to know the answers. Uh, or someone would tell me something and that love was something and then they would be mean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so as a result, um, I began reading all kinds of books. Uh, mm -hmm. I was very interested in metaphysics, mm -hmm. uh, psychology of course, majored in psychology, and then also uh, quantum physics, which mm -hmm. really shocked me because mm -hmm. I'm not into physics, mm -hmm. but I certainly was into quantum physics mm -hmm. and how the observer creates the reality. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, this is making sense to me. So I put that all together. Mm -hmm. I was very fortunate when I got out of college that I went through the Air Force and they were kind enough to buy for me three graduate degrees, a PhD included in there, mm -hmm. but none of the universities mm -hmm. taught this. Mm -hmm. And so I was looking for it and finally one day just sat down and with a napkin beside me started writing and came up with this theory of emotional maturity that helped me. Mm -hmm. I wrote no, it this for me. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even write it. I kind of had an outline. Mm -hmm. And then I knew I couldn't have the five level of emotional awareness unless I lived it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's easy to write much more so than to live. But so then I began to write it. And then I started a practice in 1978. Mm -hmm. And I'm still in that practice 39 years later. Mm -hmm. And I decided that I would teach it to my um, family after it was working well for me and it was working. So I tried it on my clients mm -hmm. and it was working. And so I've been teaching it ever since. And now uh, a lot of attorneys use it and some judges use it. And mm -hmm. uh, But it's uh, still very local. <laughs> but mm -hmm. um, it's easy because I need it to be easy. I need it to be simple. Mm -hmm. uh, but so there are only five emotional maturity levels. Thank goodness there's not 25. <laughs> and as a, it's easy. Yeah. Yes, yes. And mm -hmm. uh, um, but the goal is getting to the fifth level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. and these this level of the five can sometimes be called the enlightened ones. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. It's very spiritual. Mm -hmm. The first three levels, the one, two and three are very physical. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I say physical, people are very literal. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, about 80% of the adult population in the world come from the ones, twos, and threes. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And these are adults that we're talking mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. and, but they reason from about a 12-year-old level of emotional <laughs> awareness or younger. And then we finally get to the four, 
-hmm. And the four is the direct opposite of the one, two, three. And in the four, uh, about 18% come from that level. And then finally, when we're exhausted with living in the soap opera, mm -hmm. Yes. that we all star in every day. <laughs> yes, that's so true. Uh, and we get exhausted. Then there's a chapter in the book mm -hmm. that's called The Transition from the Four to the Five. I love that transition. And it's very, <laughs> very difficult at one. first because yeah. you mm -hmm. think you've lost your mind, and so do those around you. Yes. But, um, but you haven't, mm -hmm. and you are not allowed. Your five won't allow you to go backwards. Right. You take charge of your life. But at, at the time, it seems like you've lost all your marbles because you're going against what seems to be conventional wisdom. Mm -hmm. And suddenly you're, you're using common sense more mm -hmm. than ever before, but you start to realize that common sense is not common. Mm -hmm. uh, very few people <laughs> have common sense. But when you are able to reason from the five, life works. Mm -hmm. It really works. Your perspective of your world mm -hmm. is created mm -hmm. by your intention. Yeah, and you explain in your book that you're from, you're coming into universe two, but we're mm -hmm. living in universe one, we're going to universe two. So Absolutely. Yeah. The, just <clears throat> like just like in, in the Bible, for an example, <laughs> but, but there's Old Testament, New Testament. Mm -hmm. Actually, the Old Testament is going through a lot of, of learning that ones and twos and threes and fours. Mm -hmm. When you go into the New Testament, it's like, hello, a new, whole new awareness of where, who we are and what's happening and uh, good news and uh, the way that we've been reasoning before doesn't work. Mm -hmm. But here's the, here's the issue. You have to go through the one, two, three, four, because each one has a ba basic foundation pieces that you mm -hmm. have to have in order then to get into the five. Mm -hmm. So you can't skip a level. Mm -hmm. So when you're meeting then other people coming from the one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. and you want to judge them and you're shocked and you think they're crazy mm -hmm. and all kinds of things, but you have to also understand that just like as with a child, mm -hmm. they have to go through the process of maturing. Mm -hmm. Just because you're an adult does mm -hmm. not mean in any way that your, your emotional awareness in any way matches your physical, chronological mm -hmm. age. Mm -hmm. So when we're dealing with the emotional maturity levels, the one through five, the one through four are fear-based, mm -hmm. and the five is very love-based. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have to go through each level mm -hmm. because they're prerequisite levels. You can't skip it. So what would you call a level? The one, let's go through the levels, the one, two, okay. three, and four. First. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, it's important that you all know your own one, your own two, your own three, and your own four. We're all multiple personalities. Mm -hmm. And we're doing this as a mirror reflection of ourselves too, right? Absolutely. Yeah. This world re reflects who we are mm -hmm. at any given moment. Mm -hmm. If I'm in my three, I will create a holographic world that is reflecting my three. Mm -hmm. If I'm in my four, it immediately flips to the four. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes things don't make sense. It's like, wait a minute, what happened? Mm -hmm. But once you start to recognize that world is your creation, mm -hmm. you start then seeing how you're creating it mm -hmm. based upon your own intention. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when we're dealing with the one through five, it's important to know that it has nothing to do with gender. Mm -hmm. People tell me all the time that males reason differently than females. It hasn't been my experience. I can sit across from a man. I can sit across from a woman. And if I had earplugs in and eye, uh, eye patch, I would not know what gender that person mm -hmm. is based upon their issue. You, Linda. <laughs> it has nothing to do with age. Mm -hmm. I have run into a lot of children, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve year olds who reason from a four. Mm -hmm. And a lot of CEOs who are fifty year olds who can reason from that one, two, three without the slightest blink of an eye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then it gets real tricky when your parent comes from a three and your child comes from a four. Yeah, that's interesting. What happens there? <laughs> 
and that child is bullied into having to think at a lower level mm -hmm. and they're confused That's because yeah. they can automatically tell mm -hmm. this is nonsense, mm -hmm. but you're not allowed to say so because you're a child. Right. And it also has nothing to do with intellect. Mm -hmm. Person can be very, very, very smart and can do algebraic equations out the wazoo mm -hmm. and be dumb as a rock when it comes to social intelligence. Mm -hmm. And we've and all met sense. those people, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so I, as a child, I would see a, a teacher be cruel to the children in the classroom and I knew this was wrong, but the other teachers were allowing it. Mm -hmm. I see now that I live in a government where if we don't have any money, they print it up. Mm -hmm. But they could only do that if somebody's tolerating it. Right. Guess who's tolerating it? Mm -hmm. We are. Mm -hmm. So you don't grow from the one to the two to the three to the four into the five as long as whatever you're doing is tolerated mm -hmm. or if you're tolerating it from your children or from your spouse mm -hmm. or from a, 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 mm -hmm. a parent and it gets real tricky when it's your boss mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's yeah. being a three to you and so I'll go through these and this will make more mm -hmm. sense yeah. so um, thank you <laughs> for for those of you who are interested the one is the part of any individual who is afraid that he or she can't have what they want in life unless they are sneaky, manipulative, and devious. Mm -hmm. Now, these folks can look good and sound good and act good. They can tell a lie without batting an eye. Mm -hmm. They are so good that even on a psychic level, they believe their own lie, mm -hmm. so you believe their lies. Mm -hmm. They have hidden agendas. Mm -hmm. They're always very self-serving. Yeah. The one needs instant gratification. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes, these are the folks that are very addicted to drugs or alcohol or gambling or many, many, many things. Mm -hmm. They need that instant gratification. Mm -hmm. The one is the individual who is reasoning from a very low level of emotional awareness. So the one reasons anywhere from an infant level to a one-year-old level. Mm -hmm. But this again could be your boss mm -hmm. or the head of your church social mm -hmm. or your parent. Mm -hmm. And when it's this way, mm -hmm. it's confusing. Mm -hmm. You get into trouble if you fuss about it. Mm -hmm. And if you're born into the virtual reality game that we're all born into, that we chose to come to, mm -hmm. because we want the prize, which is the learning of the five. Mm -hmm. But if you come into that virtual reality game and you're born a four and somebody else is born a two or three, but they have power over you, you are in big trouble. That is a shame. And no one tells us mm -hmm. until I, uh, I was able to help myself with this, I didn't know how a five, how does a five handle a one? Mm -hmm. How does a five handle a two, a three, or four? Mm -hmm. And then work with other fives. Mm -hmm. But that one is that sneaky, manipulative individual. Mm -hmm. If we go back to the virtual reality game that we all come into, mm -hmm. each one of us has created our own jungle. Mm -hmm. And it's a private jungle. You have your jungle, you have yours, I have mine, we all have our jungle. Anytime. I want a paradise instead. <laughs> Absolutely, and you can create that. Yeah, yeah. But in order to do so, you have to know the jungle animals mm -hmm. within you and within others, mm -hmm. and then evolve into your five where then you can create your paradise. Mm -hmm. But until then, you get your jungle. Mm -hmm. Trying to reason with somebody coming from the one in the jungle is like trying to reason with a snake. Yeah. Ever tried to reason with a snake? We've all tried to reason with snakes. It does not work. Mm -hmm. They're clever. Mm -hmm. They take a truth and can twist it ever so cleverly to make what they want to come out. We're seeing a lot of this now in our political scene. Mm -hmm. So that's the one. Mm -hmm. Now we'll go to the two. 
And the two is also self-serving. Self-serving mm -hmm. means that they come from a place of if I win, you lose, and if you <clears> win, <throat> I lose kind of thinking. But where the one is sneaky and covert and has hidden agendas, mm -hmm. so they don't want you to see their true nature, mm -hmm. the two is very blatant. They're far more honest. They're like the two-year-old who's leaving mom and dad's side, looks around, this is my world, I'm the God in it, and you are here to serve me or get out of my way. Just serve me or get out of my way. And again, age is not an issue here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The two then throws fits, tantrums. They're in your face, in your face, in your face until they get what they want, then they back off temporarily till the next thing. Trying to reason with a two is like trying to reason with a crocodile. Mm -hmm. Ever try to reason with a crocodile? Oh, you probably oh, have. <laughs> yes, I We've have. all tried yes, reasoning with crocodiles. And the crocodile will say, fine, just come a little closer. Yeah, I work in the public system. So you I've, work in I've the public system. You've, you've seen some twos. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's with children. But, oh, it's fun if your spouse is coming from his two at yeah. that time. Or your boss. Mm -hmm. Or, God help you, your parent. Mm -hmm. So the two is the crocodile. So now we have, oh, and the two reasons anywhere from a two-year-old to a seven-year-old level of emotional awareness. It matters not his position in society, but if you notice, when we give positions out in society, we look at credentials. Yeah, we true. look at maybe IQ levels. Mm -hmm. We don't Titles. look at emotional maturity mm -hmm. levels mm -hmm. that are very important. Mm -hmm. So now we have snakes and crocodiles in our jungle setting. Mm -hmm. We all have them. And now we go to the three, mm -hmm. who's also self-serving. Mm -hmm. If I win, you lose. And if you win, I lose. Kind of reasoning. But where the ones and the twos are, <laughs> <kind of> scary. <laughs> are very sociopathic. Yes. The ones and twos are sociopaths. They don't care about etiquette. Mm -hmm. They don't care about laws or rules. Mm -hmm. The three now is all about regulations and laws and rules. Their regulations, laws and rules. Mm -hmm. The rights and the wrongs and the goods and the bads and the blacks mm -hmm. and the whites according to their set of expectations. Mm -hmm. So these individuals not only see you in their world as an object to serve them, mm -hmm. you are also an object to be judged mm -hmm. according mm -hmm. to if you match their set of rights and wrongs and goods and bads. So they stereotype people, putting them into groups. All blacks are this, all gays are that, all females are this, all smokers are that, or God knows what. They put them into this, this bubble of, of judgment. And then they begin. If, if you look at people who... Uh, join organizations like the Ku Klux Klan. Mm -hmm. Well, they hang the black person. Of course they do. He's black. Mm -hmm. Or Hitler, who determined there was only one right race. But oh, what he could do to those who did not fit his interpretation. Mm -hmm. And these people genuinely and really believe what they do because they haven't gained any more insight. Mm -hmm. So even though they're wearing the body of Goodness gracious, your teacher mm -hmm. or, or your spouse, mm -hmm. they are reasoning from a level three. The three reasons anywhere from an eight-year-old to a 12-year-old level of emotional mm -hmm. awareness. So they can be very smart-alecky. They confuse clicky. sarcasm for wit. Mm -hmm. Very clicky. Mm -hmm. like Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And when you're in the mm. clique, for example, the, the, the leader of the clique and those in it, they, they let you know where you fit mm -hmm. and you don't. Mm -hmm. they, you don't have an opinion mm -hmm. and you just will never measure up. Mm -hmm. Anytime you try to please the three, mm -hmm. it's impossible. Mm -hmm. You cannot please the three. You're never good enough. So... That's the, the one, two, three. Oh, the three reasons, like 
a man-eating tiger if you try to Absolutely. get your yes <laughs> you try to get your point across mm -hmm. oh good luck you don't even try it's like oh my gosh or do I have to it's very oppressive around a three it's like walking on eggshells mm -hmm. but we continue to try. And again, if this is your parent, you get outrageous punishments because you got into the refrigerator and got out of soda. <laughs> or you did something against their rules. Mm -hmm. So, so the, that's the one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Now we'll go to the four. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, remember, 80% of the adult population worldwide reason on a one, two, three level yep. on a consistent basis. It's almost like the chakras, like they're coming from the one, two, three levels of that, the, that part of it, yeah. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and these are people that write our rules, our laws. Mm -hmm. These are people who enforce our laws. Mm -hmm. These are people who are over us mm -hmm. that if you don't do it their way you lose your job mm -hmm. or they can be very sneaky and they can get you in trouble but then when you try to expose them they know how to play the mm -hmm. game mm -hmm. and god help you if you don't know how to play the game of the jungle yeah i, I, I did not know <laughs> I didn't know. That's why when I was born into this world, mm -hmm. I didn't know I saw a game being played, mm -hmm. but it, it seemed like nobody else saw it. Yeah. And then if I fussed about it, I got into trouble. Mm -hmm. I was being stupid or disrespectful or an idiot mm -hmm. or blind and gullible. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. So now we'll go to the four. Mm -hmm. The four is quite opposite yeah, or there. different <laughs> from the one, two, three. Because the four has something the one, two, three do doesn't have. They've been now inundated with feelings of compassion and mercy and empathy. They have a respect for individual differences mm -hmm. instead of, of stereotyping people and judging them and then putting them into groups. The four now just wants to get along. Let's just get along. If there's a problem, let's just talk about it. Four say, I'm sorry a lot. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You go along with the four and you say, I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry. Those are two fours. You get a four with a three, I'm sorry. Well, you should be. So the four though, they just want to get along. Fours can't stand conflict. They will go to the ends of the earth to keep the peace, keep the peace, keep the peace. But we live in a jungle. So quite frequently there's conflict. But the four has no clue how to handle conflict. So they go up to that snake or that crocodile or that man-eating tiger. Shame on you. You should behave. And then the four expects the one, two, three to say, oh my goodness, you are so right. Oh, why didn't I think of that? Like that and then happened. they can't fathom why they don't get it. So the four lectures, the four tries to help. They try to give wonderful information about the value of peas over ice cream. But many people, they look at the four like they're patronizing and, con and condescending. That stupid four. Well, they don't oh my have God. respect for themselves. Well, they don't. Mm -hmm. So, so they mm -hmm. they treat that four like an idiot mm -hmm. because the four is blind and gullible. But the four gives and they give and they give mm -hmm. and they give. Mm -hmm. Did I mention to you that fours give? <laughs> fours give to everybody but to one person. <laughs> And who's that person? Oh, themselves. Oh, yeah, don't worry about me. I don't, I've got the flu, but I can do this. I know how to do it. Nobody else knows how to do it, so they do all the work. Then they complain because they're the only ones doing all the work. <laughs> so fours give and they give. They, they give their time. They, they give away their vacations. The ones, twos, and threes get the promotions. They demand them. So the four is that chimpanzee mm -hmm. that dashes about the, the countryside trying to keep happy mm -hmm. snakes and crocodiles mm -hmm. 
and man-eating tigers. Yeah, they're almost like the prisoner of them, themselves, yeah. And guess yeah. what the snake, crocodile, mm -hmm. and man-eating tigers think about that for? What an ooey gooey, sugary sweet, brown nosing, <laughs> idiotic, moronic liberal. Oh. And they torture him. Now the four can't figure out why because I'm just trying to help and I'm just trying to be nice. So the four doubles and quadruples their efforts to try to keep happy snakes, crocodiles, and man eating tigers. The four reasons anywhere from about a 13, 14, 15 year old level of emotional awareness. And about 18% of the adult population worldwide operate on that level on a consistent basis. But now, my what, what percentage do you think that is like a four maybe? It's getting up there. Yeah. What, what percentage well, is... Well, maybe the percentage we want to know is what a five is, but we go ahead. Oh, yeah. well... We'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At, at, but aren't you glad there's a five? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. So yes. we have the extremes. Mm -hmm. The ones, twos, and threes are very selfish. Mm -hmm. The four is the other extreme of being selfless. Mm -hmm. But you have to go through each one of these levels. Having given out that level... That's why it's important that you know your own ones, twos, threes, and fours, mm -hmm. as well as being a victim of that level yeah. so that you've worn the shoes of all that. Mm -hmm. And then finally you get to the four, the, the, the high four that is exhausted. You can't do it anymore. Something inside of you tells you, I've got to get away. I've got to be left alone. I I've got. I want peace. peace. I want to get in a car and drive until I can right. drive no more. To the park. Fill up my <laughs> fill up my tank and drive till I'm in the trees. Yes. Yeah, to the ocean. <laughs> Just quiet. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. And so, but the four in that person won't let them do it. Well, you've had a vacation. Now back to work. Back to work. Where the five has come out and said to that four. No, I can't oh. be treated mm -hmm. like this anymore. I go to India. India. <laughs> a, oh, yeah, a wonderful yeah. man by the name of Richard Bach who wrote Jonathan Livingston Seagull, oh, yeah, Illusions. Yes, but he know. wrote, and I'm paraphrasing because I don't have it committed to memory, that. but he wrote, the mark of a man's ignorance is his depth in which he believes in crisis and tragedy. What is tragic to the caterpillar is oh, I love that. the master's idea of a butterfly. butterfly. Mm -hmm. When we are yeah. metamorphosizing, transitioning, mm -hmm. transforming yeah. into that five. You learn to manifest yes. things. Yeah. Yes, and when we are metamorphosizing, but we don't know we are mm -hmm. because there's no bells and whistles. There's mm -hmm. nobody coming knocking at your door mm -hmm. and saying, okay, you've reached the level where now it's time for you to go into the five. Mm -hmm. Just all of a sudden, you can't be a four anymore, but mm -hmm. it's terrifying. Mm -hmm. Well, People around you that you have trained to be at, at your, they've trained you to be at their beck and call, yeah. and now are hurt, <laughs> and they're hurt, you don't love them anymore, you don't care, and now that traumatizes your four, but your five says, I don't care, and then now really gets mm -hmm. traumatized. But imagine... Imagine that caterpillar that's roaming around on the ground on its belly, suddenly, out of the blue, like the four going into the five, gets the idea to crawl up this tree and spin a cocoon. And be in their own space, yeah. And, and to yeah. spin a coffin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to oh, them, yeah, yeah. they're in a coffin. Mm -hmm. They are yeah. dying, right. and they are. Yes. The four is dying to the mm -hmm. five, but they don't That's know beautiful. it. Mm -hmm. And so there's that caterpillar mm -hmm. in that cocoon, and if left alone, it will very naturally evolve into that five and will come out and emerge the most beautiful butterfly. Mm -hmm. But oh, no, 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 no. What happens if we keep knocking on its door? What are you doing? How come you're not giving back to me? Don't you love me anymore? You're supposed to go back to work. And can you imagine what that caterpillar feels when he notices he's metamorphosizing? <laughs> what? What's happening to me? Many fours going into the five are traumatized. Mm -hmm. They can't figure out because again, nobody's told them what's going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Finally, they go into the five. The five 
really yeah, you, you do have to die i do believe that you, you have to, to you die. have to yeah. die to yeah. be reborn and mm -hmm. we've heard this in religions mm -hmm. we we've learned this but to, this kind of explains it mm -hmm. to some degree it really does mm -hmm. and finally the newbie five is exhausted Leave me alone. I, I'm following my heart now. I'm starting to learn to do what I want to yes. do instead of what I should do, where fours only exist on doing what they should do. The five now recognizes they've been starring in their own soap opera and where people are using emotion as a weapon. Mm -hmm. And now they're starting to back off and they start asking new questions. Mm -hmm. What is this world? Mm -hmm. Why are we here? Who am I? Who am I? Why am I here? Why am I here? What's my purpose? What's my purpose? <laughs> what's the point? Yeah, what's the point? Now, asking is receiving, and that's when the quantum physicists come in. <laughs> See, it's their job to tell us humans what this world is made of. Mm -hmm. It looks real enough. Mm -hmm. So they're going to show us, so they take a piece of matter, because they're used to being very physical in the way they do things. They take a piece of matter and they tear it apart, put it to smaller, smaller particles. Molecules, atoms, quarks, loves, neutrinos, smaller particles, until guess I what they find? Part, yeah. They find nothing but energy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What in the world is forming the table, the chair, us humans? What, mm -hmm. what is it forming? Mm -hmm. They also discovered that each human being has a consciousness as do other things, by the way, but that's for another time. Right. <laughs> but each human being has a consciousness that emits a hologram around each individual. And that hologram is comprised solely of that individual's thoughts, beliefs, and expectations that are then echoed back to that person in the form of people and events in their world. Every nanosecond, billionth of a second, each one of us is walking around in our own private universe. Mm -hmm. It's a hologram. Mm -hmm. And there's one rule that determines how this hologram works. And it goes like this. The world treats you the way you treat, treat you. Yourself. So love yourself. The world treats you the way you treat you. And how does the five treat himself? Well, first of all, who's the five in our jungle? I'll tell you, it's Tarzan. But Tarzan doesn't live in a jungle. Tarzan's figured out his jungle. He lives in the paradise you were talking about because he's figured out his jungle. He gets along and understands the ones, twos, and threes, and fours. They get along fine with him. If he gets in trouble, they come to rescue him after he sings his little song. It's almost like Adam in, in the beginning of the, the you know, Adam and Eve kind of thing, yeah. Yeah, it starts. But, it star but yeah. if if someone <laughs> tries me. to eat Tarzan, mm -hmm. he knows how to give a consequence. Mm -hmm. He doesn't mess around mm -hmm. because he knows that to not give a consequence is being profoundly yeah. abusive and disrespectful to his universe and to those that he's not loving enough to give a consequence. Mm -hmm. But his consequence is it's not from a three. Way. His yeah. consequence is very loving from the five. So people then say, okay, so there's, there's Tarzan. How does Tarzan treat himself? Tarzan knows that his thoughts create his reality. Mm -hmm. So how do you think Tarzan treats himself? Like gold. Mm -hmm. He listens carefully to his self-thought. He does not tell himself, well, that was stupid, or you're never going to amount to anything, or you aren't worthy. Mm -hmm. Tarzan never says that. Mm -hmm. He loves himself. He learns himself. to be his best mm -hmm. friend with compassion. Mm -hmm. In fact, compassion is learned very much at the five level. Mm -hmm. oh. The four mm -hmm. starts to learn it, but as it evolves, it goes into the five level. Well, you start to understand why you do things. Mm -hmm. Why did I do this? Why did I act that way? And you know, well, and the five is very consciously aware. So where the ones, twos, threes, and fours, they are all, according to the Christian 
beliefs and other beliefs, children of God, but they're baby gods. They have no idea. It's their own fingers pinching their own asses. When the five <laughs> creates, the five creates and is very aware that, okay, that just happened. How did I create that? What is my learning? What part of me so created that? you start responding that? rather than reacting. You start yeah. responding rather than reacting. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So... So folks say then, well, then why even have a one in this whole mix when we're going to try to evolve in this virtual reality game into this five? And the five says, well, if I've come to a virtual reality game, i.e. my my jungle, to learn to get to my five, I surely don't want to come into a jungle setting without my one. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't get very far at all if I don't have my one. It taught me street right. smarts. Mm -hmm. It taught me things I couldn't possibly learn if I hadn't been sneaky and devious. Mm -hmm. However, my, my intent creates my reality, mm -hmm. and what I get back by being a one is very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So the five says, what I'm going to do is I am going to take diplomacy from the five, where I can be diplomatic, I can still lie, I can still manipulate, so long as the rule of the five is in charge, which states, I win and you win. Right. I, I win that. and I like you that. win. Mm -hmm. So he takes diplomacy and street smarts, throws that into his learning of the five, and gets rid of all of the manipulative, sneaky, lying nonsense of the one, and goes to the two. Mm -hmm. Who is the aggressor, the screamer? The, 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 the loud, insistent narcissist. Mm -hmm. And the five says, yeah, but I sure wouldn't want to come into a jungle setting without my two. Mm -hmm. I would be quick mince meat for some predator that came along. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I'm going to take aggression, turn it into assertiveness from the five, throw that into the five and get rid of all the narcissistic, arrogant, screaming mm -hmm. nonsense of the two mm -hmm. and go to the three. And though, yeah, be truthful like the two, be assertive. Oh, yeah. uh, it's very blatant, <laughs> <Yeah>. absolutely. <laughs> and then go to the three, mm -hmm. who is the right, wrong, good, bad bully. Mm -hmm. But the five says, well, yeah, but wait a minute, there's something I need to have from that bully. Mm -hmm. that, that three has a voice of authority. He says what he means, and he means what he says. A three can say, don't touch that cookie or your dead meat. People don't even look at the cookie. Because while verbally he said, don't touch that cookie, simultaneously, non-verbally, he's saying, oh, please eat that cookie. And I'll get a sadistic thrill out of making your life miserable. Now the four can say, don't touch that cookie or you're dead meat. People laugh and eat the cookie. Mm -hmm. Because simultaneously, while verbally he's saying, don't eat that cookie, simultaneously he's saying, I can't believe you ate that cookie after everything I've done for you. I go here and I go there and I do this and I do that. But you get to go to the dance anyway. So the five says to the three, I want that voice of authority where you say what you mean, you mean what you say. But hey, three, you don't have to berate, belittle, harass, and embarrass people to get there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he takes that three, he takes that voice of authority, throws it into the five, mm -hmm. and then gets rid of all the judgmental, arrogant, snobby nonsense of that three, mm -hmm. goes to the four and says, Hey, four, in this evolutionary process mm -hmm. to learn the five, it took to the fourth level to get some compassion, mercy, and empathy. Mm -hmm. And then, hey, man, you forgot yourself in that mix. Mm -hmm. So the five takes compassion, mercy, and empathy, throws it into the five, and then says, thank you, one, two, three, four. If I hadn't gone through these levels, I would never have learned diplomacy. I would not have learned street smarts. I wouldn't have assertiveness. I wouldn't have a voice of authority. I wouldn't have compassion, mercy, and empathy. And then from the fifth level, I'm learning, I'm creating it all. 
I am not a child of God. I'm becoming a, to understand the mind of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is included within me. So people have to go through the one, two, three, four. And if you do, and you get an A plus in the one and the two and the three and the four, because by the time you're the high four and you're ready for that five, you've all lied and cheated and hated and maybe killed and maimed and, and coveted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you had to, because if you're here to learn how to create paradise for yourself, mm -hmm. you have to know what you don't want in order to know what you do want. The contrast. And the five doesn't do those mm -hmm. things, but you cannot comprehend them mm -hmm. if you have not learned from them. Do you know what we call the one, two, three, four? Hell. <laughs> yeah, and you state that in your book, yeah. Do you know what we yeah. call the five? Mm -hmm. Heaven, mm -hmm. on earth, as it is mm -hmm. in heaven, and you don't have to die to get there. Mm -hmm. Folks, we are going through the most delicious evolutionary mm -hmm. process, and this is the place we have all created for us to have a classroom to learn mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. to create paradises for ourselves. Mm -hmm. But we had to go through the continuum of very negative, and boy, are we seeing a lot of that right now, mm -hmm. to the very positive. We have to go through this continuum in order to learn how to be lives. Mm -hmm. So when something happens to you now, you can ask yourself, probably a lot of you are being threes or fours. Those are usually, although there's a lot of ones and twos, but you can say, what would my four do? Well, cry and beg and hurt and feel ashamed and want to hide and hate life. Okay. What would my five do in this mm -hmm. instant? And you will feel a click. Mm -hmm. Detach. Mm -hmm. You don't get to be around me if you're not nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. So the five is teaching all of us. I'll get back to you, right? <laughs> and we're all, we are all, we all look like humans. So, but how do you ascertain the one through five? By feel. Each one of those levels has its own feel. Mm -hmm. Start paying attention to your feeling. This is your new brain, not this. This has been taught the one, two, three, four. Yeah, These the are the shoulds. Yeah. This is from the heart. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Once you know this simple tool, mm -hmm. you see how the world is constructed. You see where the politicians are coming from. You see who the corrupt ones are coming from. You understand the intention. Mm -hmm. You might see a five, mm -hmm. like in, in the Christian, uh, religion, Christ threw fits. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you might see somebody throwing a fit and immediately think that they're immature. Not so. What was the intent? Mm -hmm. The intention mm -hmm. is yeah. what creates your reality. Yeah. Every nanosecond. Right. Once mm -hmm. you know this, mm -hmm. now what does this do? This heals people with PTSD. You can work with people with depression, with anxiety. Mm -hmm. You give them empowerment mm -hmm. instead of telling them to fear this world, mm -hmm. which absolutely feels like a jungle. Mm -hmm. And it does. And it is a jungle until you've figured out your five. Mm -hmm. Once you have your five, it's a paradise. Mm -hmm. It's fun. Yes. <laughs> this is fun. It is. It yes. is so much. Coming and from the universe, can, too. <laughs> yeah. And you can teach your children this. Yes. Yeah. My little my little granddaughter <laughs> came to me when she was real young and she she came and she she always called me Baba. That was her name for me. Mm -hmm. And she said, Baba, my teacher's a three. <laughs> and she was. Mm -hmm. This woman was a bitch. <laughs> However, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell her, oh right. yes, she's a three. That child will yeah. repeat that. Mm -hmm. So instead I said to her, Okay, how does a five? handle threes? Mm -hmm. How does a five handle twos? How does a five handle ones or fours? Mm -hmm. And it's going to be from your own, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yes, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. So this and she takes... she was only three. She, she was five, five at the time, okay. yeah, okay. but she was dealing with, with the, the three. three. Okay, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> but you can teach these children and at least then they know that, oh, mm -hmm. 
That's where that person's logic is. Mm -hmm. And they know you cannot argue with crocodiles. Mm -hmm. You cannot argue with man-eating tigers. And this might be your boss mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or your parent mm -hmm. or the government. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are more children coming into the world. There are a lot more, more and more. Conscience. Right now, because the yeah. reason we're seeing so much upheaval mm -hmm. is because the human race has mm -hmm. decided it can't be ones, twos, threes, and fours anymore. Mm -hmm. So it's going through all mm -hmm. kinds shift, of yeah. situations mm -hmm. to get them mm -hmm. to learn faster the mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, so they can figure out their five. Mm -hmm. So even though it's a very scary time mm -hmm. for a lot of people, mm -hmm. it really is a fantastic time mm -hmm. because mankind is evolving faster now mm -hmm. than he ever has mm -hmm. in it's any time in history. Yeah. Yeah. But once you know the one through five, this world isn't so scary. Mm -hmm. You can tell who's lying on TV. You can tell yeah, who the, the real news. good ones are. <laughs> yes, t t especially some of the news channels. Yeah, they really the news are playing yeah. the game right now. But the more you know the one, two, three, four, you can spot it in a New York second. Mm -hmm. But when you're in your four, you don't see anything because mm -hmm. you're just gullible and blind. Mm -hmm. So... Play but you recognize this. the truth too, so that's good. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you can feel it, yeah, and your yeah, heart yeah. tells you. Yeah. It tells you. Also, mm -hmm. from your five, you do what you want. You say, Do I want to do this? Mm -hmm. Or, and if it's a should, don't do it. Mm -hmm. Fives don't do shoulds. Mm -hmm. Fives do wants. Mm -hmm. And that's a scary one for fours. Yeah. 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 Well, what if I don't go visit my mother when she thinks I should come? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All kinds mm -hmm. of different questions there. Mm -hmm. And so, but mm -hmm. there are answers and delicious ones. They're mm -hmm. wonderful. Yes. They're wonderful. Well, that was beautiful. I oh, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. And I'm <laughs> so glad pleasure. that I had you on my YouTube channel. So, oh. and um, the girl's just going to love you for it. Oh, and it's my <laughs> pleasure. And, and it's easy, so do it. Mm -hmm. Play with it, have fun with it. But remember one thing, you can't use it as a weapon. Right. If you march up to somebody and say, well, you're a three and I'm a five, right, right, right. that yeah. is not your five. Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, play with it, have fun, and mm -hmm. teach it to your children. Mm -hmm. They are begging, and a lot of them know it better than you know it. Right. Yeah. So listen mm -hmm. carefully to your mm -hmm. children. Yeah. The new <laughs> ones are... The new ones are coming in with love and in, in mm -hmm. with compassion mm -hmm. and awareness. Mm -hmm. These kids are coming in and just Super the aware. look yeah. they give you tells you, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Play with it, have fun. Mm -hmm. Make sure you give yourself plenty of rest. Mm -hmm. Get away from the trauma. Mm -hmm. Keep away mm -hmm. from the fear mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because that will get you to your five much, much quicker. Okay. Well, thank so. you, Dr. Linda. Oh, Archery my pleasure. Um, this thank is the, you. This is again, so wonderful. This is Dr. Linda Partridge with the five, the creator with it. Thank you. Okay. And these Great. are wonderful folks. They're all going through it. Yes.